Additional lime rock entry. I don't know how we just somewhat nailed that. Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Forza Motorsport 7 on our Xbox One with the Moza Racing R3 hooked up to the Xbox. So one thing I want to do is get into drifting with this wheel because drifting is one of the major parts of the channel, obviously. And we are taking a look at probably one of my most successful drift cars in Forza Motorsport 7 back when I was with TUS, the usual suspects in ESDA, the C5 Corvette. So this definitely was one of my most successful cars that I used in Forza 7 when I was with ESDA and the usual suspects. So we're going to go full send. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll just find the description box below. <laughs> Let's get into it. So like I said, this is probably one of my most successful cars that I've used uh, on Forza Motorsport 7 and ESDA. So we're going to go to Lime Rock Park because it's a good place to go. Now we don't have a clutch and we don't have a handbrake for this episode. We're just going to be using the R3, how it sits, and how it actually comes with two pedals. We do have the brake damper installed. That's the only difference that it's going to be if you were to pick up this R3 yourself. So, like I said, we are in our next level racing GT Pro Lite chassis. Big thank you to them for that. Of course, big thank you to Mosa Racing for the uh, R3 for this video and all the videos and everything that I'm going to be doing with this R3 here on console. So we're going to go full send. And we're going to see how this works. First drift tests with the R3. Button handbrake. There we go. And actually, quite impressed with this already. Keep it, keep off the grass. A little left foot brake. Utilizing left foot braking and weight transition of the car since we don't have a handbrake. We did do a little handbrake initiation in the beginning. Oh, we got this. Forza Motorsport 7 slides back, brings back the nostalgia here on Lime Rock Park for sure. I don't think we're going to be able to do that one. We managed it somehow. Don't ask me how we managed that. Like I said, this was uh, definitely my most successful car I used with the usual suspect. Big thank you to them for getting my start with all of this, you know. All right, we're going to try it. Additional Lime Rock entry. I don't know how we just somewhat nailed that I could tell you this R3 feels super nice and I think in the next episode we're gonna have to put maybe the shifter and the handbrake on to see compatibility with that stuff see if it works because I know that question's been asked already dude I'm having a blast with this oh man so now we gotta go and let's see see if we can do some first person with drift cam biggest thing about Forza I hate is the lack of 900 degree steering wheel. I really hope the new Forza Motorsports corrects that. But not gonna lie, the drift cam is working quite well. I think all of the time drifting on a Seto with real head motion and everything has uh, helped out because I used to never be able to drift first person in Forza. But now I think we're uh, we're getting it. Oh man, this car's... Oh, as I say that, we're going to loop it. So first impressions for drifting with this. And I'm thoroughly impressed with how this is reacting. Uh, so let's take a look real quick. I want to show you guys. I did do a little bit of tweaking from what I would think would be the settings that I want to change. So I did do default force feedback, 
Well, all I did was turn vibration feedback down, force feedback scale up to 150, mechanical trail to 200, turned off wheel dampening scale, and that's all I've changed. And it seems to be working very well. I'm actually uh, impressed. So let's quit this and grab another car that I used to drift in um, Forza. I keep wanting to say Assetto, but I know it's, we ain't in Assetto no more. So like I said, we had the Corvette, which was something we drifted so much, uh, of course. And then we had a few handful of Camaros. And then we did have the ESDA Forza Edition Camaro that I did run in a few rounds uh, before I was with the Usual Suspects. Uh, if you notice, this was before Usual Suspects because it doesn't have any of them on there. But what car that I want to bring back was the car that I drove in S S SSR? I believe it was SSR. And that is my Rotary Bang RX-7. And that is this one right here. Definitely uh, was a fun car to drive. So we're going to go full send with it because we're bringing the nostalgia back. This was another one that I drifted with the usual suspects. We met a lot of great people uh, drifting this car also. Oh, this car just... I remember, oh, I remember the battles in Long Beach I had against my buddy uh, T-John. Losing to uh, Anthem, my teammate, in that round, but going nicely far in competition. Oh, this car just grabs. It is so much fun to be back here on... Oh, what did I do there? We're not going to talk about that. It's so much fun to be back here on uh, Forza, and the wheel itself is just working amazing. The feel of it is so much nicer than I could have expected off the rip with just a few uh, few setting changes. Now, of course, if we had an actual handbrake and a clutch, it would be so much better. I really need to get myself a, uh, a clutch for these uh, SP, these SPR Lite pedals that it comes with the kit. I need to get the clutch um, so I can stop, you know, just using two pedals. I didn't think that was going to work. Yeah, we need to get a clutch because I do love how the brakes and everything feel on these pedals as well. Uh, with the damper in it, of course. Um, out of the box without the damper, as long as you're used to a very soft soft pedal and you're good at being linear, you'll be doing quite fine, but I definitely recommend an upgraded, uh, an upgraded damper spring for the brake. For sure, this car Yep. So we're going to go see. We're going to change course. And we're going to go to an actual track and see if we can actually run a track this way that ESDA used to compete at. And we're going to see. We're going to go back to. We're going to go back to my Corvette. We're going to go to the 800 horsepower Corvette. And then we're going to change to Daytona. And run the inner Daytona section. So if you remember, um, Daytona on Assetto was my favorite overall track. So we're going to get this loaded up. We're going to load into the track. And I'll catch you guys when we're on grid. All right, so we're loading into Daytona. If you guys remember, Daytona was probably my favorite uh, track in a set of Corsa. I told you that because this is a track that I ran a lot in Forza as well. So let's go see if we can't get to that section. Of course, we're going to drift there because why would we not? Oh, cones. Yeah, it would be much nicer to have uh, a clutch and a handbrake, physical handbrake rather than a button. So it's definitely something I'm gonna look at doing is taking the, what was a handbrake 
off my uh, main rig, bolt it onto this chassis, as well as a shifter probably, and see if it all works, because it's got the conditions in the back of the R3 for it. Why did my screen just go black? I can't see where I'm going. Oh! All right. And this is the track that you guys have seen me run many times in a set of Corsa. We're gonna run it here on force and see if we still can't get this track done. There's no clutch, no handbrake, just the R3. Just a little grass drop. Oh, <laughs> we stuck that out wide. So this is the version that you guys no, from Forza, or a set over it goes wide. Forza goes inner way, which I totally forgot about. So we're gonna try that one more time. But drifting overall on this R3 is so good. And I'm actually very impressed. There's a little bit of a stutter. That could just be a wheel feedback too high or smoothing issues I need to adjust. So here we go. For old time's sakes. Let's kick it in. Oh, he's got screwed up by the pedal spacing. We're gonna try and make something of the run though. <laughs> Overall, not too bad. We would do way better if we had other, you know, partitions like an actual handbrake and a clutch pedal. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the box below. R3 drifting for the Motorsport 7 on the console. So good. Definitely super impressed with how this is. It's great to see these old cars back ripping with all the amazing usual suspects. Paint from Anthem uh, and a big, you know, Thank you guys for coming back for another episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Gonna be doing a lot more. Gonna be checking out other parameters on the R3 to make sure they all work here on the channel. So if you guys want to see that, tap that subscribe button. I would appreciate the support and hit that bell notification so you get it when it comes out. As always, I'm Four Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. I feel like I need to go into a drift lobby and see if I can get some tandems. <laughs>